four. Geez, lovely. Good grief. Fabulous legs. They're even better. Oh, I'd like to see that. Don't worry, this isn't Pornhub or some other kind of internet porn site. It is a porn site if you happen to like centipedes, and I do like centipedes. And there's one particular centipede that's in this book and is now in Nottinghamshire. Recently found, or so we thought. For many years, ever since I developed an interest in centipedes, one particular species caught my eye, but at the time, not that many years ago really, really only about a decade, it was an incredibly rare species, one of those sort of accidentals that turns up occasionally, and usually in the south of the UK, but Things have changed for Scutigura coleoptrata, the house centipede. It's now known from coastal parts down south, and it's also now known through the Midlands with occasional records, and the Midlands now include in Nottinghamshire. Richard Jones, a couple of weeks ago, posted a record of Scutigura coleoptera to the house centipede on iRecord and I was alerted to the record by Steve Gregory because over the years Dillis and I did a number of county atlases of various orders and various families of invertebrates that included centipedes and so he knew that I sort of also collated the records of the website and knew the importance of the Scutigura record for Nottinghamshire. And that started something of a story. Good and bad, depending how you look at it, but bad from my point of view, really. And more about that later on. Still not one here. Maybe one day one will graze these walls, probably more than likely by appearing on the outside wall when a moth trapping around the back of the house, that would be the most likely location. Because Scutigera coleoptrata may at one time have been com completely confined to houses in the UK, but because the climate has changed, it is now found on coastal parts down south. And in the last few years, records have increased, although it's still an incredibly rare beast, Scutigura. And the most likely place you're going to find it is indoors. You're going to be sat there watching the television one night, thinking all of a sudden, see something scurry or wandering around the walls, thinking spider, and then seeing that it's got many more legs than a spider. It will then get this treatment and get squashed if the house occupier is quicker than the house centipede and that's not guaranteed although even with my ailments it won't be me in a dash for freedom because it'll be in a pot in no time what a species to see but unfortunately following richard jones's report news was broke and the media have covered it, the BBC have covered it, and various local papers are also co covering it. The BBC being the BBC, within the first sentence, pretty much of their report mentioned the word venomous, and 
also centipede, which does absolutely nothing for the chances of scutigura in most people's houses because they will get to the back of the slipper or a magazine. No one reads newspapers now, so I doubt whether it'll get squashed by a newspaper, but chances are a number of people, probably far more than what we think of the UK, are currently living with house centipedes and just don't see them. And you're very lucky, but one of the good parts or aspects to Richard's discovery, and that discovery being highlighted in the media, is that it has generated another record, an earlier record, but one which we can document because the recorder saw fit to take photographs of it at the time and also knows the date. That record I will be submitting now I've collected the data to the National Recording Scheme probably later on today when I've sorted out this video. So within a week of not even to get in, it's a first officially documented record of Skewtakura. We suddenly turned up another one from 2015, but the story doesn't end there because apparently there is a record from 2010, and I believe from the Gedlin area. The disappointing thing regarding that is that the record was never submitted, even though the recorder almost certainly knows of our involvement, Dillis and myself's involvement with producing county atlases for centipedes. And that's the personally disappointing thing, but not everybody has to record everything officially. But if you don't record it officially, it's never occurred officially. This fire will be lit later on. And I'll be sat in here gazing at the walls with something in my hand. And then once I've drunk that, I'll go and get another drink. One day, maybe Scutigura coleoptrata may race across here and I'll wonder what the hell it is. But by the time it's traversed here, I will have been upstairs and got a pot and come down here and potted it up. I hope. The chances of one turning up here are quite remote, but it's obviously a species that is more common than what we realise. It may well not turn up until the house is dimly lit or even at night and there's no lights on at all. They tend to catch prey or probably scavenge on the walls of your house, so they're actually quite good things to have. It's just that most people won't want one in the house for love and the money, especially now the media have got the word venomous attached to Scutigura. And the trouble is, when they mention venomous centipede, the public just hear those two words, venomous centipedes. What if one bites my kids? Well, they won't bite your kids. So there's no need to worry about that. We don't want to have another noble false widow escapade where every false widow and any similar looking spider goes through it just for the sake of bad media reporting. But on the flip side, media reporting has provided more records. There's a couple I think north of Nottinghamshire, one in Yorkshire I believe, which have also turned up. And also the 2015 record that was found by Christian Morgan in Mansfield so, a few years before Richard Jones's 2024 record of Skewtigura at Upton, and thankfully we have all the details of Christian's record now, so I can send that off to the National Centipede Scheme coordinator, and the record will get accepted and officially verified. And that's the importance of records. It's no good seeing things and if you know that they're important, not reporting them to anybody. It's a complete waste of a record, in my eyes at least, and that's why Dillis and I, all our records went to the NBN Atlas via the local record centre at Woolerton Hall, and all of our records are available for everybody to look at and download via the NBN Atlas, and 
at the last count there was close to 70,000 records all from Nottinghamshire. So maybe one day you'll be sat watching your television and the house centipede Scooter Gura calling up Trata will raise in front of your very eyes. Hopefully not to be splattered by the magazine you have in your hand. Still love those legs. Oh, God. You can see all the way up to the top. And the legs get longer the more they go towards the back end. The stuff of dreams, invertebrate porn.